nationwide protest to end bad governance has been making waves across the country. States like Lagos, Bayasa, Rivers, and the FCT have been major participants in the ongoing 10-day protest. Despite the favor seen in these states, Imo State remains relatively calm like southeastern states who are less enthusiastic about the nationwide protest. Residents of Imo State shared their thoughts on the protest and why they are not participating. Ah. Me, oh, it's me of my own view. I was telling that they should not partake in that because they have sacrificed us a lot. They, even, they have become the sacrificial lambs. So for now, I would advise them to stay back. Let us, those who have led this work, they should finish it to the end. Let us just stay back. Our lives are more important to us than that. From what has been happening, the South East does not intend to join in the protest because the protest is against bad government. So, and from the last election, we can clearly see that South East made their options known. So, like, they foresaw what is happening now. So, joining in the protest is, is, is not uh, an option for them. So, but eventually, if we are to join the protest, I mean the southeast now, I don't think it will be in this uh, first uh, first year. It will be probably later, that given a, a, a benefit of doubt, that in subsequent years, that things will be better, as the government is saying. But for now, I don't think uh, southeast and Imo state will join in the protest effectively as the other states are doing. Well, honestly, I'm going to say, I don't think they are going to be joining for the post protest. For example, if you if you notice recently there has been um, a high level of insecurity going on in the state at the moment and it has put a lot of fear in the hearts of the citizens of Imo State. So I don't think they will actually want to risk coming out to protest. And secondly, if you look at some of the roads you will get to find out that the government has put in place um, security personnel. And, and if you notice, um, these security personnel, they are not doing the right thing, which is leading the people to protest in the right way. But rather, they are, they are forcing violence. You know, it's constitutional for the citizens to protest when they sense a bad government. So it's not a bad idea for the citizens to protest so that everything will come to normalcy. But the, the, one, the way we have it in Nigeria is that when it comes to protests of a thing, people are afraid because of the nature of the country, because even as so-called leaders, they're not giving listening ears to the citizens. It is the right of the, 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 the leaders to protect the lives and practices of citizens. You can see what is happening, especially in Imo State here. Before the a day to the protest, you saw what happened. There were so many kid, killings, shedding of blood, and the lives of citizens are no longer protected again. Imo State residents have varied reasons for their current stance on the Ed Bad Governance protest. Why many express support for the cause? The question remains, will the end bad governance nationwide protests bring about the change Nigerians are clamoring for? In a weary, John Kennedy Bonner for Afia TV.